Oh, oh, beautiful pocket right here. And the holes are just also huge. Another tiny baby pocket. We definitely got a pocket in here. Look. Oh, this thing is beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> Look at all the Paku. Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're back at one of the Paku ponds to see if we could catch some monster fish for my aquariums. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. Now, I am completely kitted out tonight. Luckily, it's actually not that cold right now. So I can comfortably do what we're about to do. You see this net right here? I went to the nautical flea market down in Isla Mirada and I found some mega nets. Now, if you recognize this net, this is the same net we successfully caught Big Mama with. So I'm thinking if I get my waders on and I go into the water, I can catch one of these Paku or maybe even a few of them with this big net. So we're gonna do my best. Oh my God. <laughs> well, we're not off to a good start. But anyways, I'm gonna get this set up. But right now, guys, what the equipment I have on me, so I've got my waders and I'm thinking, so there's a shelf right here that I'm going to walk out to and try to catch some Paku off of. So I'm gonna get my waders on. I've got a fish trap right here. We're gonna get baited up to see if we can catch any of the smaller Paku. And then I've also got my cast net so that we can cast net and see if we can catch any that way. But it's gonna be a long night, hard night of fishing. Hopefully it all goes well so i'm gonna get the waders on and get my net back together again and then we're gonna start trying to catch some of these pockets we've got my fish drive baited up and instead of throwing it into the sewer like we normally do i'm going to throw it in the main pond because if you look at the sewer right now guys it's looking pretty grody in there here i'll turn on my little headlamp you can see it's looking pretty grody in there so i'm gonna take the fish trap and i'm literally just gonna throw it right there should be completely fine. And now you see all these grass mats over there. That's what we're gonna be trying to fish with the mega net to see if we could pull anything up. So I'm gonna grab the mega net. We're just gonna run in. Hopefully I don't get too many plecos because there are also a ton of plecos in here. And if that's the case, then this net will be ruined very fast. But I also have never walked in here. I don't know if there's any gators in here also or what the deal is. So hopefully that's not the case. But if it is the case, we ball. <laughs> anything, oh. Oh, I just saw a big fish spoon. But anything in the name of catching aquarium fish, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna take the mega net. We're gonna rip right here. Oh God. Let's see. Nothing in that net other than a snail. It's all good though. Honestly though, this way could be really scary to a lot of fish. But I'm gonna try my best to just run it and net this up. Catch anything in here? Oh, we did catch a fish. What did we catch? I don't think it's anything cool. Maybe a mine. Oh, yeah, it is a mine. So second net, guys, we got a mine. This is a really good looking mine. But of course, we're not going to be keeping this mine cichlid. We'll get him back to where he's from. And we're going to get these apple snails back in the water as well. No need for those. I've got a bajillion mystery snails. But first catch of the day, nothing too crazy. So we'll just keep netting around. I just saw a fish go under these weeds. Hold on. Let me get my footing. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, oh, wait, dude, I just caught a nice Paku. I just caught him on the, oh my God. He's just swam under those reeds, guys. Oh my God. This is the biggest Paku I've caught out of here. Look at the size on him. Hold on, look at this. Oh, he is a chunky, chunky boy. Honestly, this guy is really big. Too big for my cooler or my bucket right here. But I do have some coolers we could get him into. Let me get some fresh water for him real quick. I'm gonna get these guys on air basically immediately as we catch them because they're super, super delicate fish, believe it or not, when you catch them and try to transport them, they get stressed out very easy, guys. But look at this, a beautiful, beautiful pocket right here. So we're gonna get this guy in the keeper bucket real quick. Oh my God, he's big. Are you? How are you doing, buddy? Oh, he's doing great. Oh, he's doing awesome. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna get a cooler filled up. I might honestly throw one in the car. Actually, it's actually not that cold out right now. It's been a lot colder the last couple nights, but I think they'll be fine outside. So I'm gonna get a cooler filled up and we're gonna get this guy in there. So we got this pocket right here. We're gonna just get him right in the cooler. I think I just heard something in the garbage. I don't think I want to dumpster dive here though. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I heard something, but we're gonna get this Paku in here I definitely need to get a couple more buckets of water, but already an insane start to the day I'm gonna get some more water real quick and then we'll jump back in the pond with a mega net and keep fishing around I'm gonna get right back out in there Can't fish here Okay, I'll pack up then they're gatekeeping the Paku spot so I gotta think about how what we're gonna do because I was fully anticipating on fishing this place for Paku. That's tough. That's real tough. Now, what are the odds I can keep fishing and he doesn't know? Slim. Slim, because he already spun back again. So we're gonna 
pack up, go to a different location where there's some Paku, because I do know a few spots, and keep on going on our merry little way here. Damn. Maybe we go to the other side. There's another parking lot. We might be able to keep fishing this spawned with. We ended up wrapping around the lake, guys, and we found this end that I've never been to before, and it's looking really good. Keeping an eye out for that security guard because at the end of the day, I think he, there's no fishing sign, so I think he's just gatekeeping, to be honest with you. So we're going to keep getting in after it i see a bunch of weeds right here so the game plan remains the same and i just thought about it now i think i actually forgot to get the fish trap from over there so the fish trap's still sitting over there we're gonna do a quick hit and run after we do some more netting but look at this spillway right here that thing looks crazy we're gonna walk over walk around see if we could see any fish the lighting isn't the greatest but i see a lot of weeds right here we're just gonna take a swing i just saw some fish do we get any? The thing is with this net too is we're going to miss a lot of the smaller fish because this net is so big. And the holes are just also huge. But we're going to keep trying our best to get it done. I just took a big net right there. I don't think I see anything, but let's see if I'm wrong. I'm really glad we haven't caught any plecos or anything, but it doesn't seem like there's any more fish in that net. We're just going to keep working away along here. I'm going to stand up on top of this thing. Actually, no, I won't. I don't have the best flexibility when it comes to this oh, huge net. Let's see what it does. Whew. Gonna work out in tonight, guys. Anything in here? It's looking pretty disgusting. Well, oh wait, what is that? <laughs> oh, Another fish, native species right here, guys. It's a little bluegill. We're just gonna get him back in the water, but we'll make sure we're not missing out on anything else in here. Oh, look, oh, there's a couple fish right here. There's a baby, baby Paku, just barely big enough to fit in our little net. And I also see, I don't know how the hell we pulled these guys up. Some mosquito fish. These are really, really tiny. I mean, they must've got caught with the plants. Sometimes the plants act like a little blanket, but we did catch another Paku. Look at that, their eyes are reflective. Like when I hold it out here, well, now it's not working, but their eyes are reflective. That's really cool. But before we get him in the keeper bucket, let's just double check the rest of this net. See if there's anything else around in here. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Another tiny baby Paku right here. This guy is adorable. Very, very cute. Super nice. So I'm going to get a bucket filled up. It doesn't seem like that security guard is going to be bothering us. I literally don't see a single fishing sign. Like I think he might know there's Paku in here and genuinely he just doesn't want us fishing. So right here, guys, we caught some little fish. We'll get them right in here. So I think the security guard's pulling back up or did he, where'd he go? He's pulling back up. He's pulling back up. You think? I don't know what this guy's deal is. So maybe what we do is, is we just dip. I'm not really too sure because it's like if there's no fishing sign then how can we get in trouble like i don't there's literally not a single no fishing sign so Ugh. people are annoying but just to be safe we're gonna put the bucket away i think we're gonna keep netting around just because um i i, I need to fish <laughs> i need to fish i need to get these videos out for you guys so you know we're gonna keep getting after it well we're gonna keep trying our best to just get out here and do what we can gonna do my best to try to sneak up on some fish like, I bet probably a good amount of fish right behind this wall. So, I'm going to come down here. <sighs> Damn. This thing is hard to move through the water, but it doesn't seem like we caught any fish in this net. So, I'm just going to get back out there and take another one. Guys, I'm on like... I'm edging right now because <laughs> security guard on the loop. Oh, that guy's going the wrong way. Go get him. You know, security guard, go get that guy. Harass him for going driving literally the wrong way. He's going down the wrong... Look at... He's going against traffic right now. And the security guard's worried about me fishing. Mike, <laughs> can't even make this up. Pads in this section and the water is actually a lot deeper. Oh my God. Oh, oh, I see a sick Paku. We definitely got a Paku in here. Look, oh, oh my God. Look, this one's albino. Oh my God. Look at you. This thing is beautiful. Please stop kicking. Please stop kicking. I don't want to stress them out too much, guys. But this Paku is literally gorgeous. Beautiful albino red belly Paku. Right here, guys. He looks gorgeous. We're going to get him in the keeper bucket real quick. Actually, I'm just going to run him to the cooler because I don't want to risk him damaging himself. Go, go, go. No security guards. No security guards, hopefully. Whew. All right. So I got him in the keeper cooler. Come look at that. This Paku's laying on his side. The other one's looking good, but that's what they do when they're stressed out. They're both roughly the same size, but someone's definitely stocking this pond with new Paku guys. We've been catching Paku here for at least a year. It's a great spot. And I think that's why the security guard keeps harassing us. I'm gonna kick the car back on to get air on him. We've been hammering 
the lily pads and stuff. I haven't really tried fishing much on the edge right here. But let's see if we could pull up any fish. I think a lot of the fish. Oh, mussels. Damn. Damn. That is a massive apple snail. Oh, is it alive? What the hell? Look at them. They don't, they're not supposed to look like that. Are you? I think it might be alive. I'm not too sure. That's really weird. But with a net this big, a lot of the smaller stuff just isn't gonna get caught. I might whip out the cast net and see what we could do. Oh. Yeah, there's this not that many fish big enough other than the Paku to catch with this net. Like there's still plecos and all that good stuff in here as well. I don't know, I'm not able to get them. I mean, realistically, I don't even wanna catch them in this net to be honest with you, cause they would just tear it up. Let's see. Oh, anybody in here? A lot of apple snows. A lot of the cichlids in here too are smaller as well. So it's making it a lot harder on me. We're gonna take a net by this sewer. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. This thing is really good for scooping. Holy crap. Oh, I see a Paku. Oh, I think it's another albino. Here, let's get it up more. Oh my God. This net was massive. There's a lot of trash. He was hanging out in the garbage. Pakus are like dumpsters. They eat a lot. Oh my God, that's a big albino. He is beautiful. <laughs> oh. Meanie, meanie face. Meanie faced Paku. But we got another beautiful, big albino Paku, guys. This is the first time around that I've been here that I've been catching these albinos. So I think somebody must have just cleared out their fish tank or their pond due to cold weather, just like I had been doing. I've been selling my fish. I haven't been releasing them, but I can't say the same for all the other people. But we're gonna run them over to the cooler real quick. <laughs> run, run, run. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm just gonna get them in the cooler, guys. Now the truck's running and everybody's looking really good. So we're gonna go check the fish trap. Hopefully that stupid security guard doesn't try to harass us. Literally, camera girl's gonna stay in the car. I'm just gonna run and grab the trap. We're gonna head back to the house and see what we got in it because I'm not trying to get trespassed. As silly as it is, it's just not worth it. Covert ops right now, guys, we're running out. I'm gonna grab the fish trap. Whatever's in it, we'll just show you back at the house just because I don't wanna risk getting into, oh, there's Paku, there's Paku. There's definitely Paku. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, there's Paku in the trap. Okay. Dude, you want to know something hilarious? This guy's harassing me for fishing, and there's a literal car meet with people smoking the devil's lettuce. Like 30 plus people. Look, we'll drive by. We'll drive by. Just because just we can. This is ridiculous. Close the window so nobody jumps in and grab the camera or something crazy. But look at this, this is ridiculous. He's over here harassing me for fishing like an absolute dunce. And look at this, how many people are here for this car meet? This is actually hilarious. The one guy who's literally doing nothing to harass anybody and they got an entire car meet in the parking lot, literally right next to where I was fishing. I think that's why he probably stopped harassing us because they're doing a car meet here and he's got to focus on other stuff, but ridiculous, like actually, it absurd. That is absurd. But we're gonna head back to the house with the fish trap. And I'll show you guys what we caught in there. I threw it in the cooler with the Paku. Um, so it's submerged in water. They're all good. We're just gonna go home. So now we're back in the house, guys, and we got all the Paku right here. So this is the fish trap that we collect. Oh, <laughs> there's a albino Paku in here, and I believe there's also another larger Paku. So I'm just gonna open this trap up and dump them in the water right here. Come, come over here, camera girl. Watch this. Look, we got some Pakus in here. So we're gonna take these Pakus, dump them out of the fish trap, get them all situated. There's a couple cichlids and whatnot in there as well. We don't necessarily care about. But what we have to do is now is guys, is I gotta actually catch out all these Pakus. So we caught three albinos and I think two or three regular. Oh no, we caught the little baby regulars too. Bucket filled up with some water, scoop some Paku right off the top. Oh God, they're feisty. But we're gonna get this bucket filled up with some fish really quick and then get them in the 300 gallon tank. At least the big guys, all the little guys we're not thrown in there. But I got this little net. Thank you to Andrea Holman for getting this off the wish list. Easy does it. I think it's like a trout fishing net. So it should be really good for handling fish, but we're gonna get all these guys soft. Easy does it, easy does it. Now we got a bucket of Paku. So I think that's six more Pakus we're going to be adding into the 300 gallon tank. So getting close to the, oh my God, this one's so fat. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fat he is. I think we'll call him football. <laughs> That's gonna be football. And then the other two we're gonna get in the fish room, but we'll get them in a second. But right now, we'll just run all these big guys to the 300 gallon monster fish aquarium. Oh, would you look at that? Everybody's up and active. You see little red back there? Oh, I put the Oscars in here in the last video. We got two of the Paku. There's four in here right now, and we're going to be adding another six. So this tank is pretty much maxed out at this point for certain, but 
It's the best place I could put them. I'm not putting anything in the ponds until, well, until the weather heats up. And I think I might take this tarp off because it's really annoying, but the water is like 84. Oh my God, are these all mosquitoes? Oh my God, there's so many mosquitoes in this tank. I need to get like, oh, cause it's warm. They probably like the warm. I need to get like some smaller fish in here that the fish won't eat so that uh, that's not an issue. But I'm literally gonna just dump these Paku in here. They'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> look at all the Paku. So there's three albinos and only two regulars. And then we got two more regular babies that we're going to add in another tank. But this tank, honestly, 300 gallons, two FX6s and a sponge filter should be enough filtration for all these guys. I'll give you guys an update on them in the morning. I'm gonna do a water change on these guys tonight. Whew. Let's get those little baby pockets. Two, all right, we got the two babies. Oh, so we're gonna run them into the fish room real quick. All righty, we're now in the fish room. And I think all we're gonna do is with these guys, we're just gonna drop them in this tank right here with the tiger shovel nose catfish. Boop, boop, <laughs> there they go. Two new baby Paku for the fish room. And so it's the day after catching these Paku guys. And this is what the tank's looking like. So we got one of the Oscars resting back here. I figured the lighting would be better this time of day, but this is two of the Pakus we caught. This guy, when we caught him, I didn't notice it at the time, but he's got this weird stuff on his face. I don't know what that damage is from, but it looks like his grill's messed up. You could actually see Paku's teeth right there, but there's two more of the Paku now. I can't really tell if these are the ones we caught yesterday or if those are the ones that we've already had in the tank. There's even more Paku over here. We got football back there and a couple more chilling in the back under that driftwood right there. So we got a lot of Paku in this tank. Now I'm curious to see how much they eat or if they eat at all. So I'm going to drop in some food for them. Now I chopped it up in a way. All these pieces are big enough that the red tail would still be able to find it, but also small enough that even the smallest fish would be able to eat. So we we're dropping in it. Oh, Oscar just immediately gobbled three pieces. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna let that sit for a little second until the Paku start perking up. Oh, 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 it's game over. It's game over. Oh my God. Oh, everybody's pouring out. Everybody's coming out of the hide. Look, these Paku, these Paku are absolutely destroying this food. Oh my God. Everybody's going crazy, dude. This is like a group of piranhas right here. Holy crap, we got a lot of Paku in this tank. I thought the glare would be better because of the sun right now, but it's in the morning, Little Red getting in there instant. Oh my God. Little Red just shoveled three pieces into his face at once. So I might even drop in even more food later. Oh, the Romeo and Juliet, or no, Lady and the Tramping, a piece of tilapia right there. Little Red seems happy and satisfied. Look at him, he's doing awesome. And it is starting to warm up, so pretty soon we'll be able to target other monster fish species. But the Paku actually handle the cold pretty well. You can see homeboy right here is munching. Oh, there's football. <laughs> football, get in on some of the food I see, Bubba. Oh, the Bicer just came out. There's the Bicer. He's looking for some food, although he's looking in all the wrong places, buddy. Buddy, you gotta go the other way. But the Bicer is looking awesome in this tank. <laughs> Look at him. All right, let's see if the Bicer eats. I don't know if I've ever seen him eat. I just figured he did. Oh no, he's gonna go try to rob it. Yep, yep, he just stole it. He just stole it from football. Poor little football just got robbed by our little dragon here. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody in this tank is doing incredible. I'm sorry, football, that you got outcompeted for food. I'm really, I apologize for that. But down in this tank, guys, the African cichlid tank, we actually did add those two small baby pockets in here just because I wanna see how fast they grow and how they do in an African cichlid community tank. And they're actually both sitting right here. So they're looking incredible, looking really good. We're gonna feed this tank as well. So we'll just drop this in. And actually, when I first came out here, that big blue heron, was sitting on their tank, which kind of sucks, but all the African cichlids eat like pigs and the small ones we caught way back when, those yellow guys are actually starting to develop some color. These guys are starting to look really, really good. So it's pretty exciting. All of them are growing so good. Like all these African cichlids are growing and doing awesome. The Paku did not come over to eat. So these little guys are a little confused. Probably first time they've ever seen pellets because they were born in the wild and caught out last night and so they're probably just used to grazing on grasses and stuff either way there is algae growth in this tank that they could eat and i also put the little channel catfish we have in this tank as well just because he loves to eat pellets so he's a great cleanup crew member for this tank but basically 
those pellets are gonna be gone within the next couple minutes. And they didn't quite finish all the tilapia I threw in there. So I'm gonna leave these couple pieces for whoever wants some. I'm sure they'll get picked up. And then later tonight, I'll probably feed another filet. But that is it for today's video, guys. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications if you did enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.